Hello, my name's Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to install Pingvin Share on Portainer. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over a home lab, so we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So Pingvin Share is a self-hosted file sharing platform that combines a lightness and beauty perfect for seamless and efficient file sharing. You, you can have your own type of file sharing without using a public server or anything. Share files using a link, unlimited file size, restricted only by disk space, and then set expiration date for shares, secure shares with vi visitor limits and passwords, and email recipients, and integration with Clam AV for security scans. So, we're going to be using Docker Compose to set this up. So, I'm going to get to explaining the Docker Compose now. So, we're going to start on the Big Bear Video Asset. There will be a link down in the description to get to it. And um, we're going to go to um, how to install Pingvin Share on Portana right here. And then we're going to go into Docker Compose Pingvin Share. And then we're going to have a version number 3.8 for Docker Compose. And then we're going to set some services. And then Pingvin Share is the first service. And then the image it comes off Docker Hub. So if there's no URL in front of this, that means it's coming off Docker Hub by default. We're going to set a restart unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. And then we're, we're going to set a port mapping for 3000 to 3000. So the host side and then the container side, the host side can be changed if there is a port conflict. And then now volumes are data, pingvin share, and then data on the host side at, and on the container side is opt app backend data. So you can change the host side, but you can't change the container side. Now on the host side is data, pingvin, share, images, and then you can change the host side, but do not change the container side. So the container is opt, app, front end, public, and Im images. So now uh, we will go ahead and copy the file up here, the raw file. Then we're gonna go over to our portainer and get this installed. So now we're going to start in our portainer, then we're going to go to local, and then we're going to go to stacks right here, and then add stack up here, and then I'm going to name the stack pingvin share stack. Okay, now I'm going to go down to web editor right here, then I'm going to paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets, and then now we'll scroll down and we'll say deploy the stack. This will take a bit to employ. It's got to download the um, the image from Docker Hub. Okay, now it's deployed successfully. So now we can go into our stacks and you can see it's starting right here. So you can go into editor right here and you can change the config right here and you can change things and then you can say update the stack right here. When you re-pull and deploy the image that means it repulls it back off of the re repo that I got it from and this one's docker hub so it'll repull the image and uh, let's say you uh, the author updates the latest image a, ta a tag then this will update the latest uh, ta tag and bring you down to the new code so I'm gonna cancel that out and then now we're gonna go down to containers right here it should be running now so it's running for a few seconds so now you can go in here logs and you can see it's it's up and running. So we'll go backwards. And then you can see the container is healthy. You can see the port configuration down here. So it's listening on port 3000 on the host. And in the container, it's listening on port 3000. So it created some binds down here of volumes. And then it also created a network. So... We're going to go and see if the UI works now. So now we're going to go to the Portainer's IP address and then port 3000 on the end. 
So I'm going to go to it and now you're prompted with this and then you can say get started. Okay, now I'm gonna put my username in and my email address. Okay, now I'm putting my password in. You're gonna do the same with all this information and uh, I'll remember to remember your password. Okay, now we're gonna customize configuration right here. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna change the app URL. We're gonna put the portainer's IP address in here. Okay, now it's it's in there. So we can save. And then now you can see that there's email configuration right here. You can change the emails to go out. You can um, have sharing configuration where you can allow registration. You can allow un unauthenticated shares, max size, zip compression level. So, and then you can add your SMT, a TP server. Uh, so if you run your own email server, you can put that information in here, or you can use another SMTP server that is public or, and then uh, I want you to do that. You can just send a test email and save. And then now let's go back and you can upload files right here. You can also do reverse shares to where uh, you can create a URL to where the user can upload a max a file size of 105 megabytes. You can change this. Expiration is one day and max uses to where uh, they can actually upload files to you and then you can get the files. The uh, my, my shares are to where you just upload your files and then you share the URL with somebody and then they can download that file. So that's how the Pingvin share works. It's pretty nice. So I just went over installing Pingvin share on Portainer. It's a really nice program, I think. So, um, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go out on the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.